Meet Landon. He's just a little shorter than a two-foot level and a little heavier than a two-by-four. His dad, that'd be me, works with wood, so Landon's already met his first chop saw, been given his first tool belt, and we've started reading about the joy of making things with your own hands. We think he's awful cute. Of course we think he's cute, but Ben, get back to the story. Sorry, proud dad, where was I? Now meet Mark. Mark's known me since I was Landon's age, and though we're not technically related, he's family without a doubt. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. As I grew up and started building, Mark and I started sharing our common love of woodworking, sharing our projects, raising timber frames together, and consulting on tool choices. His passion for woodworking has been an inspiration to me. My family and friends have been blessed with handmade gifts from Mark at significant moments in our lives. So when Landon was born, my wife Kristen and I got an encouraging photo and an email telling us a project was underway to celebrate our son. Just the other day, a box arrived addressed to Landon. We couldn't believe our eyes when we pulled out a beautiful handmade bench full of colorful and personal details. Here it is in all its glory and inspiration. There's no mistaking whose bench it is, and the letters will be a great learning tool for our son as he grows. Since Kristen and I met on an Indian reservation, its sides are etched and painted with Native American symbols, and there are some important life messages for Landon. We particularly like the last one. The fabulous feet are recycled croquet balls, and the legs are returned balusters, so we can teach Landon about green building. Lastly, there's a secret compartment that plays the theme to Star Wars when the door is open. Given that Mark took me to see Star Wars when I was five years old, this bench connects all our generations. I can't wait to teach Landon about how it was made and about his great uncle who crafted it with such care, playfulness, and love. So thank you, Mark, for inspiring the next generation of woodworkers. Remember, the force will be with you, always.